In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the steps it takes to add additional email accounts into your one main hub Gmail account. To do that, it's very simple. And the reason that a lot of people like to do this is that if you have several email accounts that you're checking on a regular basis, you can set up filters to be able to have everything filtered into one account. And if you'd ever like to respond as the main account that received the email, you can just easily change the reply to address and have it come from that main email address so the, the communication stays consistent with whoever is sending you the email. So to do this, go into your main Gmail account that you would like to be able to send email from and click on your mail settings. Then go into your account and import and you're going to scroll down here to where it says send mail as. You can see that we have two accounts that we currently send mail as. I want to add another account and I'm just going to add the account um, my name will be Andrea at SavvyBlogging.net and then I'll just choose the same email address to be able to send email from. Click Next. And then I want to have them verify this through Gmail, so I'm going to leave this radio button selected. If you want to have it verified through your SMTP servers, then you can choose that option, but it's easiest to do through Gmail. Click the next step and then just click send verification. You're going to then receive an email. So you can close this out. You don't really need that, op that box up there anymore. But you'll receive an email at that account to be able to verify that so you can start sending emails on um, in that main account as these other people. So I'm going to go into my account. And since I do have several filters set up, it actually goes into a different account. Um, I just need to click on this verification link in the email saying, yes, I'm okay with Savvy Blogging at Gmail, sending emails um, using my email address, Andrew at SavvyBlogging.net. Click the link and it says you're good to go. So if you go back to your accounts and import link, you'll see that when you refresh the screen, this unverified actually turns to verified. So if we want to edit the... Um, send mail as and you can choose to have a different default if you wanted to you could have Andrea at SavvyBlogging.net be the default so whenever you create a new email which I'll show you here you see that Andrea at SavvyBlogging.net is the automatic from response so I can send my email and then it's going to send to the person but it, it will show that it's coming from Andrea at SavvyBlogging.net now if you go back into your mail settings. I actually don't want that default to stay that way. Um, I'd rather have just admin at SavvyBlogging.net be there. So I've changed the default back. But I also, also wanted to show you if you want to send the email and you say, you know what, I know it's automatically going from admin at SavvyBlogging.net, but I'm working in the email this week and I want it to come from Andrew at SavvyBlogging.net. So I can type my email to whoever it's going to go to and then I can select the from box here and you'll see that it drops down with several different emails and these are the emails that you're allowed to send email from so I'm gonna say this time I want it to be Andrew at SavvyBlogging.net I can send my email subject content and then it's gonna go and it's going to be sent from Andrew at SavvyBlogging.net so that's just a quick way to show you how you can set up several different email accounts and have everything sent from one main hub of an email account. That can help you save a lot of time if you have several accounts that you have to check on a regular basis. To find out specific step-by-step -step how to do this, definitely check out the post at SavvyBlogging.net for more details.